Hey everybody, how you doing? Into Weapons back again with you. I got a cool little toy that came in the mail the other day and I thought I'd just do it a quick unboxing and overview video for you. Uh, what you're looking at here is a professional grade, true point of view, video recording eyewear by Pivot Head. This is the 1080p HD. Uh, see it my way it says there. I got a, got the idea of getting something like this from a fellow YouTuber called Big Dog Beave and I'll link it uh, to his channel down below in the description. Uh, but he had some really cool IDPA uh, shooting matches that he had done with these pivot head glasses and it got a really cool point of view uh, picture of his shooting. So I thought I'd order a pair. They're pretty reasonably priced at $300 from Amazon.com. That includes shipping and handling and everything. So uh, for that kind of camera and that kind of capability, I thought that was pretty reasonably, reasonably priced. It's got a few cool uh, features here that we'll just quickly touch bases on. Uh, it's got the, like I said, 1080p at 30 frames per second. It has 720p at 60 frames per second, which I prefer doing a lot of my videos in because it captures a lot more of those uh, muzzle flashes, things of that nature. Uh, it does the 720p at 30 frames per second, and it does have an 8 megapixel uh, image sensor for still images as well, which was kind of cool. It uh, has auto continuous fixed and macro focus auto settings and auto scene adjustment, which is really nice. It has two gigabytes of SD RAM in, uh, built into it, so you, I, I've been told you can do about four hours of video with it. Uh, it's wind resistant, audio recording, which is really obviously nice. I'll plan on doing maybe some bike trips with this too as well, and seeing how the uh, video quality comes out and just the overall image stabilization. I'm kind of concerned about that a little bit, you know, with your head bobbing up and down. Uh, we'll see what kind of video it actually is able to capture. Um, <clears throat> It does up to 16 shot rapid burst and still photos, which is really cool. It has a time lapse burst still shots at various intervals, and uh, eight I'm sorry, eight gigabyte internal memory capacity. Not a it's a two gigabyte SD RAM, I guess, for the the processing of it. Uh, so with eight gigabytes, like I said, about four hours of uh, video time. Now it has a 75 degree field of view, which is a little bit different from what you get out of the GoPro, which I think is a 150 degree field of view. So it doesn't really have that fisheye uh, look to it. It's just more of a, a smaller frame size that you're able to capture with this thing. And it has a micro USB 2.0 connection, which you're able to attach to your computer. Um, it does have a couple buttons on here that we'll look at when we open the box here that allows you to turn on the, re the audio, or I'm sorry, turn on the, the video recording and then capture a still image. It has a power button, I believe, and uh, that, that's pretty much it. There's really not a whole lot of buttons on it, so it does have an interface that you're able to download to your PC where you're able to do a lot of the adjustments of the settings that way, which is a little bit easier. And uh, it's got a Recon Black Jet frame. Uh, it's got a, rubber, a black rubber armored coating, which we'll look at here. It's uh, 75 grams in weight, and uh, it does have interchangeable smoke gray and polarized and yellow clear carbonate glass lenses, which is kind of nice. So a few different options there. So the box actually is a pretty nice little box. It came from Amazon.com, well, uh, well packaged. Uh, I'll go ahead and take a look inside the, the box here. It has an inner box, which is very nice. Nice cardboard inner box. The uh, glasses are wrapped in nicely. They're kind of built into the middle of the box, so during shipping they don't get damaged or uh, jump around, things of that nature. We'll go ahead and remove these. And uh, I did take these out originally just to kind of see what they look like, and they're a little bit wide on my head. I'm not, I usually don't wear a whole lot of sunglasses. I don't look in, good in sunglasses in a lot of cases, but uh, these don't look too bad. They do look a little bit bigger on my head, like I said. They look like they're a good size uh, you know, glasses as you're wearing them. Uh, they're a little bit of a larger headgear, I should say, so uh, they're not just like everyday glasses that are a little bit smaller and lightweight. They're a little bit of heft to them as well. It uh, comes with a case here, which is really nice. It's a nice hard case. And inside the case, I believe, there is instructions on how to adjust this from the, the video camera itself or the glasses itself. You can adjust the settings which I've been told are a little bit more difficult to do, but it works. It has a cleaning cloth in here, which is really nice. And uh, looks like these are the cases for the additional lenses, such as the yellow here, as you can see, and the clear, which is a really cool feature, like I said, being able to switch those up. This is the only model that actually did that. Also in the box, we have a USB cord, which is pretty standard for connecting. And that's it. So uh, what we'll do, guys, is 
I'll try to patch in a little bit of video of me playing with my dog in the backyard or something, maybe some ball, just to kind of show you the initial impressions of the video uh, quality. And um, I don't know, maybe if I can try to get a picture of myself with these glasses on, that way you can kind of see what they look like. And I'll maybe throw a still in there if I can on that. But uh, we'll go ahead and test these out and hopefully get some good footage at the range for you guys. And uh, this will put another dynamic into the video footage that I get. So. Alright guys, so we're going to play a little bit of ball with the dog, test out the image quality, Im image stabilization, field of view with these glasses. We got Teeny out here getting the ball. We'll walk around a little bit, kind of just test on uh, what kind of field of view we're getting mainly. What I'm looking at is what's recording, that kind of thing. It's pretty overcast today, no sun out. These are starting to change colors a little bit. You can see I gotta cut my grass. Gotta do that before the leaves start falling and make it difficult. Overall, the glasses are real light and comfortable on the head. Hopefully the audio is turning out halfway decent. The uh, glasses do clasp onto the head very well. They aren't moving around at all. It'll be a real nice uh, feature for when doing any kind of active sports, biking, that kind of thing. And we'll just take a walk around here. Again, just kind of testing the field of view. Make sure the uh, image isn't jumping around a lot. Got the clear lenses on. Real nice lenses, was able to switch them out real easily. That's about it, guys. Again, big shout out to uh, Big Dog B for turning me on to these glasses. I'm anxious to get them to the range and see what kind of POV shooting we can get. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Appreciate you all watching and until next time, take it easy.